some works that I make um, come quite quickly and um, it's fairly evident fairly early on in the process what I'm going to be making and although there are many decisions um, during the process of making um, the outcome is still decided quite early on. One of the works in the show is um, there are two columns of um, pleated fabric, really long columns, um, and they came about because of this pleated skirt um, that I had in the studio. Um, I'd been thinking a lot about um, folding, um, both literally in terms of there were drawings I made with sort of folded corners, um, and then kind of, I suppose, in a more metaphorical sense in the, the way in which I might fold um, a reference um, or an idea kind of into the work quite gently. And I'd been playing with it a lot in the studio and trying to work out how I could kind of bring that skirt into making a work, a sculpture, I suppose. Um, and I'd been cutting it up and hanging it and doing all these things with it. And I, I think I realised in order to make it work as a sculpture, it had to be less a skirt. It was as if I had to um, sort of diminish it in a way, diminish its identity, sort of take some of that objectness away from it. You can see that they come from a skirt, but that they're no longer a skirt and they become kind of something else. It's as if it, the thing that I did to them kind of opens them out to the world a bit more. Also in the show, there are going to be two um, drawings of neck scarves. And they also came about through this kind of process of negotiation um, of finding a way to, to draw these scarves. There's also an incredibly simple wall drawing in the show that came from um, looking at a pleated skirt. And it's a wall drawing that consists of probably more wool than drawing <laughs> because it's a, it's a striped drawing um, that allows the wall to enter the drawing very frequently. The things I make might be drawings, they might be objects, but they might also be relationships and ideas and things that are very immaterial and are brought into being just for a moment um, and exist in sort of spaces around the work. I think that's just as important. I've really been drawn to um, using clothing as a start point for work, but then also using this idea of clothing and what clothing does and the way that um, clothing as parts will constitute an outfit and then using that as a way of thinking about what an exhibition is and what a group of works are. One of the things that's always really exciting to me is how um, I'm going to position my works in the space and that always feels to me like you know a good 50% of the work there's kind of what an object is in the studio and then there's what it becomes when it's positioned. Sometimes the objects that are um, that seem the most familiar can be the most strange and maybe clothing it's the most normal thing of all because you know, we have to wear these things. And the way that that compares with um, what objects are when they become art, because art objects kind of aren't obedient in that way, you know, they're not, they're not useful like that.